you know this, I'll tell you this, internet is one of the greatest snares if you're not careful. I'm not talking about pornography, that's absolutely evil. I'm talking about all the other information that we can go searching, looking for and browsing and things like that. These are for people who have uh, plenty of time, with nothing to do. I mean, with all these, um, I don't know what they call those sites, Facebook and things like that. If you're spending more time with the Bible than with Facebook, have it. But if you find you're spending more time with Facebook than the Bible, brother, you better seriously consider whether you're a born-again Christian or not. That's all I say. I'm saying keep these things in their proper place. Keep them as servants. Don't let them rule you. Everybody in the world doesn't know what you're doing or what you had for breakfast or things like that. These are the stupid things they write in all these blogs and whatnot. A lot of, you know, the devil has got a lot of things by which to sidetrack people from being effective for God. And it's not always with sin. 